Yeah, Team Guyana is the focus of today's curve to rewind. The team showed great promise tallying eight medals in Grenada, consisting of four gold, two silver and two bronze. Tiana Springer and Malachi Austin won their respective girls and boys under 2400 meter titles. Athalia Hinkson took gold in the under 17 girls 100 meters, while the team of Springer, Austin, Narissa McPherson and Nielsen Gill spent to a championship record 3 minutes 23.51 seconds to cut the mixed relay title. Joining us on the phone to discuss the team's performance and Guyana's bid to host the 2026 Corrupta Games is head coach Moses Pantlis. Um, Moses, welcome to the Sports Mike Zone. It is a pleasure to have you uh, this afternoon. I first want to get from you how you feel about Guyana's performance at the Corrupta Games. My pleasant good evening, and you know it's a pleasure having me here on Sportsmax. Um, again, it's an overwhelming feelings for know that you know that um, you know where we come in, where we come from, and where we are today. That we could have gone to the 54th Swift in Grenada and done so well as. A yeah, for sure, without a doubt. I want to make the point though that Guyana has been doing well at the Carifta Games for a number of years now. And I took the liberty of having a look at how well you've done in recent editions of the Carifta Games. So 2017, you had eight medals, including four gold. 2018, nine medals, just one gold medal in 2018. 2019, 10 medals, four gold medals there. 2022, seven medals, two gold. 2023, eight medals, three gold medals. And then this year. So it's not as if 2024 just came out of nowhere. It is consistent with what you have been producing for a number of years now. Why do you think, though, the reaction has been the way it has been for 2024? Um, I think, you know, presently, those years that the you know, coaches have been um, realizing that uh, we have the potential of athletes, you know, and we've been coming together much more together as coaches and putting in the work, you know, not only individually but collectively. You know, we have been talking with each other as coaches, knowing that if you have a good athlete in store, you know, you're asking for advice what to do, what not to do, how to get these athletes to prepare for when these um, meets come together, you know. So I think uh, one of the important things presently is that coaches are bonding together more than before. So with that, you know, our results will show much better than in the previous time. Yeah, with that in mind as well, though, and given the consistency I just outlined in terms of what Guyana has been doing at the Carifta Games, what do you think you need to do as a nation to, t to make the next step? So you have been consistently 7 to 10 medals since 2017, as I pointed out. How do you get to 20 and 30 and maybe even 40? How do you get to 10 gold medals? instead of just a four or is that not the focus of the program the program is to produce more high quality athletes like the tiana springers like the malachi austins like the um athalia hinksons okay um, basically i think we're still in the building process right we, we you know we keep building from 2017 to 2024 um resource is one of the most important thing and i think you know um for the past couple of years, the government have been stepping on board, you know, in a small way, and they're building. So I think in the next two, three years, you know, as long as the government have continued to pour um, resources into the track and field wall or into the AAG to, 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 to be um, thing, you know, I think we can get far better results in, in times to come. But we, you know, as I said before, we're working together more than before. So as long as the um, corporate society, business places come together and see, the, you know, the foot of Guyana, and start pouring things, um, finance in, in into athletes' um, progression. I think you know we can get a better a better results coming next year in Trinidad, and yeah. even and even in Guyana, if we um, get a chance to you know come through with the Austin in 2026, I think you know that um, Guyana will be a force to reckon with when it comes to Carifta. Yeah, a key issue, Moses, for Caribbean sports fans is the issue of infrastructure and the sort of investment that is put placed on facilities. Um, can you confirm that the Leonora 
synthetic track that was established in 2015 was the first synthetic track that Guyana had for track and field athletes to prepare on? Yes, it is. Okay. Genera is a first um, synthetic track, but presently they are working on two more. There's yes. one is in Linden and one is in Barbies. The one in Linden have already laid and they're preparing it standwise. So we will be at least blessed with three track in the near future. Yes. So I asked you that to ask you this because I suspect that with the synthetic track established in 2015, it, it provided for, for athlete, athletes a, 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 an upgrade in facility and uh, probably, I would suspect, some inspiration and motivation to advance the quality of the performances. Um, would you connect the rise in Ghana's track and field in the past decade to the fact that you're now nine years in from your first synthetic track? Um, yeah, we'll say yes. Because we all know that the synthetic track is very important for um, athletes to uh, move forward. Despite not trading on it on a daily basis, you know, when you're keeping competition, you know, it's very important and it's very better than the grass to mm. keep competition wise so you can really, you know, get a, a, a good feeling of what a synthetic track is when you go outside to, to pass the pit. So I think our synthetic track at Lenovo, you know, it's very, very important and is important for the movement forward of our athletes in Guyana presently. Yeah, because I, I, I know that many of the top Guyanese athletes prior to, you know, this generation in, in the Crypto Games, a lot of them were, were long distance stars. You had a, a Cleveland, uh, Brown was his name? Ford. Cleveland you know, Ford. Cleveland Ford. Yeah and, yeah, and and those athletes don't necessarily need need synthetic tracks they just run all over the place in hills and valleys and, and that's what makes them that's strong in, in from the stamina perspective so i remember him winning 5000 meters uh, races regularly and a couple of other Guyanese who were strong in the distance races as well i saw a report in one of the newspapers today uh, moses about the projection for your team going to the world under 20 in lima peru in in late august but but there was a uh, provisor mentioned there about funds, funds, uh, you know, it, it was dependent on the funds because the size of the team that you would want to send may not, may not come through if it is that the funds aren't there. Is, can you expand on that a bit? Um, I, I, I don't know much, but what I can say with the, with the, with the projection from the career of the team, you know, I think that... Um, we will find funds for the under 20 team. Right? The Crypto team has done us so much proud, so you know, we won't want to you know, go back you know, as, after such a good performance and going to a next uh, higher level. I don't think you know, we will have uh, far too. But despite the news might say that, I know when that time comes, we will feel every single one who have qualified for Crypto, yeah. for Crypto that qualify for, uh, under 20, for the under 20 um, yeah. Games will be impure. Yeah. Will I, be impure. Yeah, I, I can be assured. I, I hope you are right. And we wanted to mention quickly before you go that I thought your 400 meter wins by Tiana Springer and Malachi Austin um, displayed in both victories a lot of strategic sense in how they delivered their races. They they were very calm. They weren't flustered when others went fast for the first 200 meters and in both instances i want to credit those two athletes for how well they measured their races and from the sports max zone we want to say congratulations again moses and um good on your athletes who did so well in grenada all right thank you very much for hosting me and a bless yeah and moses just quickly one quick one before you go in 15 seconds if you can just tell us how difficult it was to make the decision to withdraw Tiana Springer from the 200 final because it was getting to a stage where I was wondering if she was running too much. She had gone 400 heats and final, she 200 um, semifinals, mixed four by four, um, and then the 200 finals to come, plus she would likely run the, the girls four by four as well, but then you withdrew her ahead of the 200 final. How tough was that a decision to make? Um, I must say it was a very tough decision as a management team and you know we come together the five persons who were on the management team and we sit and we look at it very carefully and you know the physio is one person who share a very good light in in, in our so you know in, in the best interest of our moving forward you know we say all right well, this is it and you know we 
sell that arm, you know. She will not be taking part in the 200. And that work comes from the management team along with the physio. Yeah, all right. Thanks very much, Moses. Pleasure speaking with you and all the best going forward. And we look forward to seeing more of Guyana in track and field, not just at Carifta, but all the major junior events and at the senior level as well. Take care. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. All right, we'll be back with more on the Sportsmax Zone.